Welcome to part 3 of this December 12th uh, special. Now all Kenyans know that uh, the government will not allow the swearing in of Ray Odinga. And they also know that uh, NASA followers or NASA rights as they like to call themselves are very determined that they'll swear in their president on December 12th. So the question on everybody's mind is how will they do this? Yeah? Knowing full well that Jubilee will not allow it, how will they pull it off? Now a little later in this series we're going to tackle that in full, that question, and we're going to do it by looking at various possible scenarios uh, based on statements we have heard coming out of uh, NASA. Okay? But for now, uh, let's examine a very interesting uh, uh, play, or, uh, yeah, or rather a very interesting option that is on the table as we speak. There is enormous pressure on both sides of the political divide to sit down and talk. The American government and most uh, Western powers are pushing for coalition government, okay, for both sides of the political divide to sit down and discuss how they're going to share power and rule. Now, this has been very strongly rejected as a solution by NASA, and more so by their leader, Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga's position is that he's not interested in power, yeah, therefore he's not interested in a power-sharing agreement, okay? What he's interested in is justice, electoral justice. What he's interested in is uh, for the electoral fraud to be sorted out, addressed, taken care of, yeah? He is not interested in what we did in 2007, where we pretended to be addressing the issues, even formed a Truth, uh, Justice and Recon Reconciliation Commission, but actually what we ended up doing is sweeping everything in the carpet and uh, going back to life as usual. In other words, we swept a major problem under the carpet and uh, we hoped and we prayed that it would not come back to haunt us. But barely 10 years later, in 2017, it has indeed come back to haunt us in a very, very serious way. So what Raila and NASA want is that they want to ensure that uh, the electoral fraud, massive fraud against the Kenyan people that we saw in the August state elections is never ever repeated in our country again. That's really their chief interest. And that has made the possibility of any negotiation uh, a little far-fetched. Yeah? And very unlikely. Now, a section of the media in Kenya are telling us that uh, actually Raila Odinga said that uh, he's willing to discuss with Uhuru, but uh, without any handlers, just the two of them, face to face. Okay? There even reports that uh, the president has said he's prepared to meet uh, uh, Raila for discussions on Monday. Now, that Monday will be the eve of December 12th. That will be the day before the December 12th yeah, sh scheduled swearing in of Raila Odinga. Now, Raila Odinga and NASA have been very adamant, very consistent, in uh, their saying that the only agenda of such a meeting would be electoral fraud, addressing that electoral fraud. And yet, as far as Jubilee are concerned, elections are over, People, things should go back to normal, people should be focused on uh, work. These are the hardline positions of the two parties that make negotiations, that make sitting down to talk a very unlikely prospect, even as the country hurtles towards what many see as disaster, yeah? what many see as uh, bloodletting, what many see as violence in this country like never seen before. Yeah? chaos in this country like never seen before. Okay, that's the situation. That is the very, very sad situation facing us as a country. Indeed, radicals within NASA are saying that uh, fine, we're ready to discuss, but this discussion can only take place after the swearing in of Raila Odinga. <laughs> so you see how difficult, how tight the situation is, yeah? None of the sides want to give uh, even an inch, okay? And uh, that leaves us in a very, very serious crisis. Now, some NASA insiders have uh, got even uh, another very interesting point. 
They are saying that if it is indeed true that uh, President Uru is uh, very interested in discussing with the NASA on Monday, they read mischief into that timing. Yeah? Because since Monday will be the eve of the swearing in, the whole idea will be delaying tactics. Yeah? To slow down the process, you know, because the, the, the eve of the swearing in should be the busiest time for those preparing for that swearing in. Yeah? For instance, if travel is uh, required, it would have to happen on that date. Last minute arrangements would have to happen to, uh, on that date. So by calling on the, for the negotiations of that day, uh, what President Uru is doing is effectively uh, uh, paralyzing the swearing in on the Tuesday. That's what NASA insiders are saying. And therefore they say uh, such a call in case it's true or such a, an allegation unless it's uh, 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 assuming it's true would mean that uh, there's no good faith from the Jubilee side. Indeed, if truth be told, one thing that has been very consistent about the Jubilee side is that uh, they've been consistent in their threats, yeah? They've been consistent in their position that any swearing in would uh, call for nothing less than the charging of uh, Raila Odinga with treason. Now, Raila Odinga's response to that has been very quick and it has been without hesitation. He has said he's ready to be charged with treason. And so the long and short of all this is that the country called Kenya is in an impossible situation. Barring a last minute miracle, we are definitely headed for a very major confrontation. Yeah? And the consequences uh, of this confrontation are unpredictable. But uh, one thing is clear. Um, those, the, the consequences and the effects of uh, that confrontation are not going to be good. Okay? Now in the next episode, we'll discuss uh, the most likely scenarios of uh, December 12th. Don't miss it. This is Chris Kumekuchi.